Hey folks, it's Finn. Today's video is a study topic and today I want to talk about my Open University degree studies and update you where I am with that. I also want to talk about the Open Degree Programme and I also briefly want to mention some continual work I'm doing with the Open University as part of being a student ambassador. So firstly, lots of you have asked me what's happening with my studies because I haven't posted anything about that for a while. So I want to update about that. For those who don't follow my channel, why? Please do, the more the merrier. I began studying with the Open University in 2011. Initially, I was following the degree path for psychology, the BA Honours route, because I wanted to be a counsellor. But then in 2018, I had a change of career plan. Now, I have mentioned this lots of times in lots of blogs and vlogs, which I will link to here. But briefly, my change of career came on the back of an epiphany where I realised that my ongoing mental health problems, although much better managed, were always going to make it difficult to do a 95 Monday to Friday job. And also that I wasn't yet in a position where I was well enough to be a counsellor for other people. However, I realised I'm already doing what I love in making videos and writing about mental health and gender transition. So I decided to see if I could change that into my career. That would give me the flexibility I needed because I'd learnt with the Open Uni that with flexibility, I can be successful. I can do anything around my mental health problems as long as I've got that flexibility. Now, at the time I had this realisation, I only had one module left to study. And it was a psychology module and with my new realisations, I wondered if I could do something around writing rather than do the last module as a psychology module because I was worried I wouldn't have the motivation in that I now saw myself moving in different ways. So I contacted the Open University. The student help team are always so helpful when it comes to things like this. And they suggested an open degree. Which brings me on to my second topic of this video. What is an open degree? An open degree is exactly the same as any named degree. You still do three stages, one, two, and three, the same as years one, two, and three. You still have to get 360 credits, you still do the same level of study. The difference is, rather than following a set module path, you can pick and choose your own module depending on what you need to do. So this freed me up to move from a psychology degree into an open degree, which meant I could choose that last module to be anything I wanted out of the whole prospectus of the Open University, as long as it matched the credits I needed for level three. The Open University have been doing the Open Degree since they started 50 years ago and it's surprising that nobody really knows about this Open Degree. I tell people I'm doing an Open Degree and they look a little bit confused, but that's what it is. It's just open. It's open for you to pick and choose your modules depending on your current needs and circumstances. And this is why I'm so passionate about the Open University. They are so flexible. Not only have I had the flexibility I've needed around my mental health and my gender transition, when my life changes, my degree can change as well. It is incredible how flexible and adaptable the Open University is, and which is why I champion it, because I love it. So last year, that's what I did. I swapped my psychology degree to an Open degree, and I booked onto the A363 Creative Writing module and started that, as you know, but unfortunately, things didn't work out, I had to pause my studies again. So now, this coming October, I'll be starting A363 again, creative writing module. A little bit nervous because it's a level three module and I'm going straight in to study creative writing, something I haven't studied before. So I'm actually doing a little bit of back reading at the moment. There's lots of books you can access of old Open University degrees, modules and so forth, so you can brush up your studies a bit. So there we go, that's us caught up. Open degree, choose anything you want. What I'm doing, creative writing is my final module and I look forward to updating you about that when I get started on it. And finally, a little update about what I've been doing in terms of my work as an Open University student ambassador. I get lots of exciting things to do with the OU around that. And this time I've applied to study the Open University Open Degree Programme team. And that will be happening next Wednesday, the 30th of May. May. 
It's also the same day that the CAN conference is taking place, that's the Change Agent Network Conference. And that is all about collaborations between staff and students in higher and further education. And this is something that the Open University excel at, working in partnership because so many staff are students. So it, they're really good at, at these, this business of like championing students and students feeding into what happens at the Open Union and so forth. So the Open University Open Program will have a stall that day showcasing exactly all the collaborative work they've been doing with students and I shall be on the stall with them sharing my student journey. Details of what exactly I'm doing on the day are yet to be released but I do know that I'll be taking over some of their social media, their Twitter account, possibly doing some lives and I will also be recording the whole thing as well so that I can share that with you when I get back, behind the scenes, more information and so forth. So what I would say if you don't already please do follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram and then I can keep you up to date of what's going on throughout the day as it unfolds. How exciting! If you have any questions about my own Open University degree studies, if you have any questions about the Open Degree Programme or about the Open University or anything whatsoever, please do leave them in the comments below. I'm always very, very happy to help. If you pop over to my website, you'll find more information there as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you up to date with all of my regular fin installments. Bye bye.